Here with us now, Michigan State Representative Jason Morgan. He's also the vice chair of the Michigan Democratic Party. Uh, welcome, sir, and good morning to you. Hello, great to be with you today. So how long have you lived in Michigan? Tell me about your background and what you love most about your state. So I am born and, and raised in Michigan, grew up in rural Michigan, and have spent uh, all of my life here. And uh, I love it. It's a great state. We have just an incredible uh, environment and incredible people. And it's it, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. So your political landscape has changed. You're a Democrat. But what has evolved politically in your state uh, over the last decade or so that has made Michigan such a toss up? You know, I think Michigan is a state that, uh, you know, we, we want kind of the basic things that every American would want. Uh, a good job, the ability to have an opportunity to create a great life and raise a family and uh, breathe clean air and drink clean drinking water. Uh, I don't think we're unique uh, other than um, just wanting basic decency and, and having an opportunity, a great life. So uh, I think Michigan really is a, a kind of uh, microcosm of the country. And what we're seeing today uh, is a campaign uh, focused on a whole range of different things. But for us, it's just hearing the candidates and, and making sure they're going to take our issues seriously. Right. And they're taking Michigan very seriously. Trump was there this week. Kamala Harris, as I mentioned, is going to be speaking with Oprah. Let's talk about the political division that we're seeing right now and how that's resonating with voters in Michigan. Uh, I was just speaking with my colleague Leland Vittert about tamping down the incendiary language around this presidential election. Uh, what would you like to hear from Kamala Harris about this assassination attempt on former President Trump and, and how the two parties come together on something we can all agree on is that political violence has no place. You know, I think it's it's exactly what um, Oprah Winfrey has been saying. You know, we have to push back against hate and division. We can disagree about politics, but we cannot uh, begin to hate each other as Americans. Uh, we have to have peaceful disagreement. Uh, violence of any kind is unacceptable and is un-American. And uh, I think that's what uh, Vice President Harris has been talking about this entire campaign. She's been talking about bringing Americans together and, and working together and focusing on unity in going forward in our nation and moving forward rather than backward. And so I think she's going to talk about that here in Michigan. Uh, and I think that that's what we all need to be talking about. And I want to add, I have some really amazing Republican family members and friends who also want decency and respect and to push back against the hate. And, and I think we need to be unified in that message as both parties. Hate is unacceptable, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, independent, or otherwise. And we all need to be on the same page, at least at that basic level of decency. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that, right? We all have friends on the other side and how we come, come at those conversations and how we come away from those conversations and how we behave is so important right now. Um, Harris is leading in Michigan, slim margin with 48.2%. Trump's at 47.4%. This is based on 30 polls and our partners at DDH HQ. Uh, what do you anticipate um, Michigan as far as a factor in the battleground states to be in this final stretch, less than 50 days until the election? And what are the conversations that you're having with Republicans and Democrats about the focus on Michigan between now and November? Well, I think the, the road to the White House runs through Michigan. It has in, in recent elections, and it will be more important than ever this election. And, you know, I think what we're seeing as we have uh, both campaigns coming through our state and campaigning and talking to voters here, uh, I think it's it's becoming very clear that this election is, is a choice. Uh, it's a choice between two very different visions for America. Uh, Vice President Harris's focus on being a new way forward that protects our freedoms and, and builds up the middle class uh, versus Donald Trump's vision that helps uh, you know, billionaires and big corporations at at our working families' expense. Um, so I, I think as as much as we we need to work together here, we also need to work toward a future that works for all Americans. Uh, Representative Morgan, thank you so much for being with us this morning. You said rural Michigan, where you grew up. Um, what town or county did you live in when you when you first uh, came into the world? Uh, Pinconning, Michigan, the proud cheese capital of the ah, state of Michigan. I love <laughs> it. Uh, well, thank you so much. Michigan's important, and I've enjoyed our conversation. Thank you, sir.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.